Autocorrect is a feature in Microsoft Word where the software attempts to help you by correcting what it believes is a common mistake. These features can be useful, but they can also be a real problem, especially when you don't realize why Microsoft keeps changing things on you. To avoid the feeling that Microsoft has a mind of its own, um, it's best to review the various autocorrect options and choose the ones that will help you with your writing and disable the other ones that you don't need. Um, for this demonstration, I'll first launch autocorrect options and then show you how to modify them to best suit your needs. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Tools and then we're going to select Autocorrect. This launches the different auto, the autocorrect window. Now there's four different types of autocorrect. There's autocorrect, um, math autocorrect, uh, auto format as you type, and auto text. And we'll just take a quick um, look through each of these. Um, there's a bunch of features that are on by default that personally I hate. Um, and again, you should just decide which ones work for you and which ones don't work for you. So for example, turning off, um, I don't like two initial capital letters because for me, um, I'm good at typing, but also I'm often using acronyms and such, and this tends to unacronym my acronyms, and I hate that. Um, first letter of sentences, I turn that one off as well because I do a lot of writing with M learning and E learning where the E is little and the M is little, and it's intentional. Um, and first letter of table cells, again, because I create tables and I quite often don't want the things to be, I don't want Word to change the case on me. Um, math autocorrect is useful if you use a lot of symbols. Um, and you can see here that they've got a bunch of symbols already programmed into the system. So if you, for example, want to do an alpha, you can do a backslash alpha and it will automatically do that for you. So that's kind of handy. Um, Auto format as you type again. Now, here's a couple things I'm going to recommend for you is get rid of applying as you type a bunch of these different manual formatting things. When we go into styles, it'll make more sense, but you won't want a lot of that. Straight quotes versus smart quotes. Smart quotes look prettier in, prettier in printed documents, but if there's any chance your documents are going to end up on the internet, then you don't want um, smart quotes because they don't translate well. Um, these other different things depend. So for example, if you like to do an M dash and you, instead of having to do an alt code for an M dash, you can do two dashes. That's a very handy thing to have. Um, I actually apply things, so I don't need that one. I do usually want my hyperlinks to be hyperlinks, but if you don't, like if you're doing, if your document is strictly going to be printed and you don't want your hyperlinks to automatically be reformatted as blue underline and active links, then you want to turn that off down here. I'm also going to turn off define styles based on your formatting because I don't like it when Word automatically defines things for me. I'd rather have that control myself and have and do it myself. Auto text is interesting as well. Um, again, these are kind of things of um, a very a variety of different automatic entry things. If you um, do a lot of, of bullet uh, boilerplate text, then this is kind of useful. Um, for most academic writing, it's not um, useful. I wanted to pop into autocorrect here. Is it here? Um, yeah, replace as you type. Um, you'll notice here that there's a whole bunch of interesting ones in here if you scroll down. So for example, if you often do have this way, then it autocorrects it that way. This is something to look at if there's something, if there's a particular word that you always spell wrong or you often type wrong, you can then add your own values in here to make Word automatically do that for you. So sometimes that can be useful. Um, once you've made all the changes you want to make, you just click OK and it saves it. And that's how you set up autocorrect um, to meet your needs. Thanks.